Good morning, kids. Are you ready to learn new things today? Great. Let's start. Today, we're going to become investigators. Do you know what investigators do? That's right. They look for clues and information. We will investigate a problem. An environmental problem. Can anyone tell me what an environmental problem is? Great answers! Environmental problem is something harmful that happens in nature, like air pollution, water pollution, cutting down too many trees or too much garbage, and we can all help solve these problems. By the end of today's lesson, we'll learn how to observe and investigate environmental problems in our community and suggest ways to solve them. Are you ready? Before we investigate, let's look at some examples of environmental problems. Here's a picture of a polluted river. What do you see in this picture? You are right. Trash, dirty water. This river is polluted because people throw their trash into it. What do you think would happen if the river stays dirty like this? Yes, you are right. Animals dying, people getting sick. Now, let's look at another example. Here's a picture of a street full of trash. What do you think caused this problem? The problem in this picture is improper waste disposal. This happens when people don't throw their garbage in the right place. Instead of putting it in trash bins, they, they would just throw it anywhere, into the ground, in the streets. Why do you think people do this? Yes, it may be laziness, lack of bins, or lack of education in cleanliness. Improper waste disposal can cause many problems. First, the trash makes our surroundings dirty and smelly. It can also block drains and cause flooding, especially when it rains. What do you think will happen when water can't flow through the drains because they blocked with garbage? Yes, you are right. It may lead to flooding. Another problem is that when trash piles up, it can become a breeding ground for insects and pests like flies, mosquitoes, and rats. They love dirty areas with lots of garbage. These insects and pests can spread diseases like dengue or leptospirosis. So, as you can see, improper waste disposal is more than just making our streets look bad. It can lead to serious health, and environmental problems. Now, can anyone suggest some ways to solve this problem? Yes, you are right. Proper waste segregation is the key. More trash bins, regular garbage collection, and educating people about cleanliness. Now that we know what some environmental problems look like, let's investigate one that happens here in our community. We won't go outside but we can imagine it based on what we've seen. Let's say we have a problem with garbage in the streets. I want you to think about this problem. What do you think causes garbage to pile up in the streets? What could happen if we don't solve it? And most importantly, what can we do to help? Write down your answer on your observation worksheet. Can you share what problem did you observe? What are the causes and effects? And what solutions can you suggest? Write your key points under three columns. Problem, cause effect, and solution. You've all done a great job as investigators. Now we know that by thinking carefully, we can help solve environmental problems. So today, we learned how to investigate environmental problems. We looked at the causes, the effects, and ways to solve them. Environmental problems might seem big, but if we work together, we can help make things better. What's one thing you can do at home or in school to help the environment? Can you share to the class? Today, 
You all did a great job. For your homework, I want you to observe one environmental problem in your neighborhood. Write about what you see, what might be causing it, and what you think people can do to solve it. We will share your observations tomorrow. Have a great day, kids. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. God bless. This lesson will encourage students to think critically about the environmental problems they see every day. By actively participating in the investigation process, they will feel empowered to contribute to solutions in their own small ways. The group discussions will foster collaboration and problem-solving skills, essential elements of environmental awareness.